Hey sixth graders, uh, this video is going to be a little bit longer than normal to help you understand what our new um, format is going to look like for the next couple weeks of science. So in the past few weeks, we've gotten a lot of great feedback about how much um, the stations have been helpful. So we are just kind of switching up this um, stations so that all of your work is going to be in one place. So you essentially have this digital notebook here on your computer where you are going to keep all of that information so that you can look back at it and you can kind of get more information and you can review your notes a little bit easier. So as you can see here on this um, second page is your notebook checklist or even your task list. And each of these tasks are the things that you will complete throughout the lesson. Similar, just like when we were in our Schoology stations. Each of these is just one of the stations that you would complete. They're just all here in a single document. So you can click on any of these and it's going to bring you to the page where you will find that information. You can click the X to go back to this first page. So each of these stations is linked to a page and then you will complete the information on that page. Um, if you click here, this will take you back to this video that we are watching right now. All right, so the first page that we have in our slide, in our notebook will be, and you will always have this in all of your notebooks, is the question of the day. So when you come to class, the question of the day will be posted on the presentation screen. You will answer, um, do what, what the question of the day says, watch a video, um, come here, answer a question, and then you will write your answer here, and this is where you will record your question of the day. The next page in our full, in our notebook is our watch page. Um, so we will watch a video and then here's the question that you will be answering. And then it says right here, watch the video, answer this question in the orange box. So in the orange box, you're gonna answer this question. If you can't, once you come to watch the video, you're gonna press play and then just give it a second and then it will play. If the video will not play, then click here and it will open up this video in a new tab so you can watch it in a new tab. The next section of your notebook is, are your notes. If you will notice in your notes that they look a little bit um, different and also pretty similar to how we have had them before. So in the top it has the lesson vocabulary and there are some highlighted words here and those are the words that um, those are the vocabulary terms that will be um, on each of those pages. So on this page you will have these these vocabulary terms to look at. It says click here to watch this video for a mini lesson. So if you click here, it will open up a new tab and you can watch another video for a little mini lesson um, on what we are doing. And you will click here to get your uh, to get your textbook pages. So when you click here, it will open up another new tab. You will see your textbook pages. You'll be able to listen to the audio just like you um, have been in the past. Um, on the side, you will see that you still have these markers for when you um, go back and review your notes. We will be using those in the um, in our questions of the days, and we'll be using them at the end of lessons. So just like normal, you're going to click, you're going to add notes, and you are going to um, take, take your notes uh, on the lesson. When you see these blue words, that means that there is a link to either a website or a video or a tutorial, anything that might deepen your knowledge around this topic so that you can learn just a little bit more. So if you want to take time to do that, you can click on those. There are some cool simulations and videos with those. On some pages of your notes, you'll see a green must do. When you see this green must do, you should click here so that you can complete this must do form. So you will see on here, we are doing a little um, uh, lesson on comparing densities. So you're going to click there, complete this lesson, and then come back to your notebook. You'll be instructed when you should complete the summary section of your notes. Uh, after you have your notes, you might have some practice pages. So there, I'm not gonna go through each of these practice pages um, specifically because each of these has a video here with instructions. So you'll see a practice page and then you'll click on the video to um, on the link to get video instructions if you would like them. As for this one, click here for video instructions. And then you'll have the density practice. And then again, there's a, a, a link to click and watch video instructions. 
and that is your whole notebook. Just like every other assignment, once you have completed the whole assignment, you should hit Submit in Schoology. And if you have any questions, feel free to come back to the Google Meet or send us a message in Schoology. And um, I hope that this um, is helpful for you and that you can um, use this to get um, to engage in your information in a new way that is going to um, help you keep it a little bit more organized and in one place. On the checklist, um, one last thing, there are these little check marks. You should pick up these check marks and put them in the completed file if, once you have completed different pages of the, um, of the notebook. Um, once, once your teacher sees that you have hit submit and put all of the check marks in the completed boxes, then we will be able to come through and grade it. If we notice that you have an incomplete section, if I click on Cornell Notes and I see that you have not completed your Cornell Notes, I might go back to the first page here and leave you a note right here in the comments that you can then look at and say, okay, I would need to go back and finish this page. Ms. Klug said that it is not complete and not ready to be graded yet. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and we will be happy to answer them. Happy learning. Bye.